Hi, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke, and this is your December Tarot Forecast for 2014. And this reading is for Capricorn. And Capricorn, I hope you had a great month in November. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Winter Solstice to my pagan friends out there. And Capricorn, I pre-shuffled your cards right before the video. So let's jump right into it and see what's in store for you for the month of December. I can't believe it's December already. Where'd the year go? This card has come up for so many people today. We'll get to that in a minute. And actually... I'm going to clarify your spread. Capricorn, the attribute or the atmospheric elements for the month of December for Capricorn is the ups and downs. It could be the ups and downs of fortune. It could be the ups and downs of money. It could be uh, juggling finances. It could be juggling more than one thing, being very, very busy this month. But it's a real indicator of fluctuations of money coming in and money going out and of course it's Christmas time so everybody's spending and buying but the juggling of finances the fluctuations of that okay that's a real indicator for you this month and what's interesting is there's things associated with that coming and going of money and it's one that may have ties to the past for you, okay? There may be things or issues or ideas about money that were instilled in you as a young child or young adult. Things from your past may crop up that have to do with your fluctuating finances. But at the same time, you're wishing, perhaps, something to do with your finances. Maybe you're wishing that your finances will get bigger and bigger. I mean, something surrounding money this month, Capricorns, and something that's stemming from your past, where there's, at the same time, lots of wishes and hopes and dreams surrounding this. And there seems to be illusions surrounding these issues of money, fluctuating of money tied to the past. There's some sort of illusions created with that. And at the same time, it seems like there's a lot of different moods taken with that. There may be moods fluctuating this month when it comes to money. Your reading is really centered around fluctuations, okay? whether it's fluctuations of another person or fluctuations of moods within yourself because something's happening or maybe potentially happen happening for Capricorns of an empty victory of some kind. Doing things that maybe perhaps you never thought that you would do and feeling like you won, but now what? You know, I got, I got it. It's mine, but it's an empty feeling. You don't feel like perhaps maybe you would once you got it. It's like an empty victory of some kind where you're kind of like when you were kids, you know, and you'd steal the ball and you'd look back and go, ha ha. And your friends are all standing there like looking mad or I can't believe she did that. And you're happy about your success but other people may not gain that same victory or happiness from it. It's like an empty victory where you're doing something perhaps, trying to achieve something or trying to gain something, and it's kind of like, it's kind of not really authentic. It's almost as if it's an illusion to keep up this illusion for other people or to keep up this mask for other people. 
and you're not really, and it has something to do with your past. Maybe you've been doing this most of your life because it seems as if it's gotten to the point where you don't enjoy it so much. It kind of makes you feel stuck. It kind of makes you feel restricted even, okay? And in, a, in, in order for it to change Capricorn, that way of living, of fluctuations financially or fluctuations even emotionally, I mean, I know from experience when I have money in the bank, I am the happiest person on the block. Well, my finances are coming and going and in and out, and I'm not really sure where my money's going or where my money's at. I'm very unhappy, and it puts a damper on my mood. And patterns of money or patterns of the way we associate or identify with money even really start from a young age and it's really shown to people in different ways so when we get older we either squirrel our money away like you know little squirrels in the winter time or we just are frivolous and you know irresponsible with our cash and don't really even give it a second thought so whatever thoughts or issues or wishes or dreams that you have about finances it's affecting you emotionally this month Capricorn and I think you're really hoping and wishing for something different to change or to come along okay because you have this card of the cycle is going to turn for you and it can turn for you and events can turn for you and things can look up for Capricorns this month because something is restricting you. There's like a wall of some kind that you've either built for yourself or it was put into place long before you came along. Okay. And in order to gain more emotions or reactions from other people, you have to be a player. You have to drop that wall or drop that mask or drop that false illusion and be more comfortable about who you are without identifying yourself with that. If this resonates with any Capricorns out there, let me know. That's what I'm getting. Like your reading's all about self-identity this month. And it's all about wanting to connect with people on a more cellular level. Like you're really wanting that to shine through instead of what I have on or what I have, that mask. But really wanting to get to people to get to know your soul and to get to know who you are underneath all of this. If that resonates with Capricorn, because it's really based upon relationships and reconnecting with people and coming together and loving each other and loving each other for who they are and unconditional love and embracing one another as family or embracing one another if you're in a marriage or, or embracing one another as friends or loved ones or sisters, brothers. So that feeling is very relevant for Capricorn this month. And whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve, it can be achieved, but you may not be feeling very good about it this month, Capricorn. That's what the Tarot is stating to me, to you. And there's lots of fluctuations going on possibly for Capricorn, but the possibilities are there for this cycle to turn, for events to turn for Capricorn, and for these restrictions that you maybe have placed yourself in, that they can be taken off and unhinged. And you can reconnect once again with what really is important with others. So good luck to you this month, Capricorn. If you like a private reading with me, all readings are 20% off. Uh, check out my 
Nightbird Tarot WordPress blog at the link below. You can also email me at nightbirdtarot at gmail.com. And thank you for your support the last six months. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscriptions, and even your dislikes. It keeps me on my toes. My gift is to you of uh, providing you free generalized readings each month on YouTube. If the readings identify with you or resonate for you, then I've done my job, and that gift is for you. So I do that you hope. I hope that you do find meaning in these readings. And if you do, I think that's wonderful. So enjoy your month of December, Capricorns. Have a great month. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.